And as more children become infected with the virus, we are learning more now about how the virus can affect their brain. News 19's Alicia Niaves continues our team coverage. COVID cases among young South Carolinians are on the rise. We're seeing younger people as a higher proportion of our cases, and this is likely due to um, the fact that, that they either are not eligible or are not getting vaccinated. Pediatric ICUs are also reaching or at capacity. As of today, all pediatric ICUs in the state are between 71 and 100 percent full. 34 children are hospitalized with COVID-19. Seven are in critical care. Three are on ventilators fighting the coronavirus. We were all on the lookout for these findings, for sure, from the beginning with both acute COVID and Miss C. Dr. Elizabeth and Mack, I chief of MUSC's pediatric so critical care, contributed to a study that's part of Overcoming COVID-19, a national registry of patients in 61 hospitals across the nation who are younger than 25 and sick with COVID-19. National Her findings November. offer a closer look at children with COVID or Miss C who develop neurological symptoms. Miss C is a rare inflammatory disorder that can affect a child's organs and central nervous system following a COVID-19 infection. Neurological symptoms such as altered consciousness, seizures, difficulty walking, difficulty crawling, the littler ones. The study involved nearly 1,700 children. Dr. Mack found one in five kids with COVID or Miss C had effects on their brain. 22% of kids, um, that's a lot of kids, um, particularly when we're seeing the type of numbers that, that we are um, in this state. And our numbers locally, I would just say, also reflect about the same percentage. Of these cases, 88% of children experienced only temporary symptoms. But some were serious and, and even a few that were fatal. For parents, Dr. Um, Max so says familiar steps can be taken to protect children who are too young to get the vaccine. Hand hygiene, with testing, with vaccination, with masking, with quarantining when it's appropriate. Alisa Niaves, News 19, WLTX. Well, it is unclear tonight as to why some children develop serious neurological symptoms and others did not. Most patients with life-threatening complications did not have any major underlying health conditions.